Hello everybody. I promised you I would try to come back and show you our small collection of Halloween postcards. So I decided that I better do it since Halloween is almost here. We don't have a large collection, but we love what we have. Most Halloween postcards today are just out of sight price-wise. But once in a while, I'm sure people can get a good deal. We just don't spend a lot of time looking for them, or we probably could have found a few. But like I said, I do love what we have, and I'm going to share those with you. Some of them, I know the makers, and some of them are unmarked, and I don't know who made them. But I'll try to show you back and front of the cards. This one right here is embossed. And it is really, really cute. Look at all the different characters in the postcard. It says, a message of good luck to you, the best that you could dream. So let us all be merry on this joyous Halloween. I just think this one is wonderful. Let me turn it over. It just has the series number doesn't have any maker on this one. If y'all know the makers, y'all can let me know. I love getting the information. Now, the next two, you can see, copyright 1910. They're made by Francis Brundridge. I probably butchered that name. But these are really cute, and her postcards are super collectible. This does have a crease in it. But that didn't stop us from getting it with that sweet little chubby-cheeked guy with the cat and the pumpkin. And I'll turn that over for you. Halloween series postcard. There's a trademark. And this one here is also made by her. 1910 Halloween greetings and another cute little chubby cheek guy with a cat on the pumpkin. Same things on the back that was on the other one. Then over here, these are not Halloween postcards, but I kind of put them out at Halloween. This was Enchanted Island, 1933. And it's the Scarecrow and it's a century of progress, the straw man. I just thought that was neat. And that was in a box of junk at a sale one time. <laughs> and this one, I keep this one out all the time because I just love that little moon with the child with the big bow. It doesn't have anything at all on the back, but I think it's super cute. Another very collectible artist is Ellen Clapsaddle. That's hard for you to read, I'm sure. But I love the cat in the pumpkin. A Merry Halloween. Printed in Germany. 1911 and one more of hers I think this one is just super cute he's carved the pumpkin and he's putting a pipe in his mouth wishing you a highly entertaining Halloween and this is made in Germany also and this one was never sent This one here is made by the Wolf Company. Spooks and witches are busy tonight, anxious to put good children to fright. Let's get together to ward off the charm, laugh and be merry, and forget all alarm. Wolf and Company. And look at that sweet child. Just super cute. And on the back of it, up in the corner, there's their insignia, the wolf. That's the only one of that I have. This one here is another super cute one. A joyous Halloween. Made 
made in the USA. Well, no, it's printed in Germany. It probably was sold in the USA, regulated USA. Okay, it was another printed in Germany. But it's just wonderful. And this one is, the little boy is just being spooked. And he's running. A Halloween greeting. This one doesn't have a maker's mark either. And this one doesn't have anything at all on the back. Good wishes for Halloween. Down in the corner, I know you'll probably not be able to see it well. I think it's 1919 or 1908. I had to use a magnifying glass before. <laughs> but this is our Halloween postcard collection. I hope you've enjoyed seeing it. I think next year we may try to find some. It's better to look for them not in the Halloween season. You can get a much better buy than if you wait until October typically. Because there are so many collectors of Halloween and specifically Halloween postcards. So enjoy your Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. John and I went out to breakfast for our 60th anniversary today and we got up to all those wonderful signs in the front yard like the kids did for my birthday. They did it for our 60th anniversary. It took over the whole front yard and I did post a picture on Instagram and Facebook of them because they are wonderful. And we so appreciate our thoughtful kids. So enjoy your day. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you soon, I hope. Love and blessings from me and John and baby boy. Till the next time. Bye-bye.